There has been a continuous occurrence of pneumonia cases of unknown cause. The notice issued on December 30, 2019, clearly required all medical units to report similar cases of unknown pneumonia. On January 26, the Institute of Virology of China CDC announced that 33 of the 585 environmental samples from the Huanan seafood market were found to contain the novel coronavirus nucleic acid, and the virus was successfully isolated from the positive culture samples, suggesting that the virus originated from wild animals sold at the market. Major discoveries that a total of 41 patients were counted in this paper, and 14 of them proved to be unrelated to the seafood market, accounting for more than one third. No one sells bad at the seafood market too. The numbers that we're getting from China about new infections and deaths are highly suspicious. We know that Beijing for six weeks in December and January suppressed information of the epidemic. And then when they officially acknowledged it on January 20, they then started a campaign of suppression of information. Hard to see a protein is 100% identical when the virus jumps species. And so that was suggesting maybe the virus could be generated with a reverse engineer process. Can't possibly it be a natural mutation. It almost certainly is a recombination event that, that was laboratory driven. So that research has been going on at Wuhan and published since 2007 and clear if that spike protein from SARS weren't on the COVID, the new COVID-19 or SARS-2, it wouldn't be able to enter human cells. According to a February 28 report in the South China Morning Post, the Shanghai P3 laboratory, which first shared the Wuhan coronavirus genome with the world, was ordered to close by authorities, impeding further research on the virus. Existing virus samples must be destroyed. Information on the samples, related to papers and related data, are all prohibited from release. It ignored it for six weeks. It allowed it to spread around China. It tried to get other countries to not protect themselves. This is dangerous, irresponsible behavior. And every time it comes back, because it will come back, because it's going to be with us now permanently, it will come back and every person that it kills, every person that it harms, is directly attributable to the Chinese Communist Party. They successfully isolated three viruses from bats, one of which had an S protein that integrated with human ACE2 receptors. This effectively demonstrated the human infection of SARS-like viruses to humans without the need of an intermediary host. Simon Wayne Hobson of the Pasteur Institute in France expressed deep concerns. He told Nature, if the new virus escaped, nobody could predict the trajectory. Propagation could happen anyway. So her work proves or strongly supports the hypothesis that it could not possibly have been generated in a natural zoonotic transmission, but had to come from a hospital setting, the laboratory setting almost certainly, the biosafety level for Wuhan research facility. They were working on developing a coronavirus for the human host which you know, leads you to question, why would you be creating a coronavirus that can infect humans? What would be the purpose of that research? Is it, is it for a weapon? Is it so that you can then create a vaccine that you are the sole recipient of the profits from? At the same time, authorities sealed off all virus samples, prevented international experts from joining the investigation, and used national television to slander doctors such as Li Wenliang who disclosed the outbreak for spreading rumors. February 3rd, Dr. Wu Xiaohua blew the whistle using his real name that Xi Zhengli's haphazard laboratory management may have led the Wuhan virus to leak from the lab. After the first Taiwan Strait crisis, we realized that if the Chinese and American military fought head on, we are at a disadvantage. Therefore, we need a new strategy to help our military tilt the balance of power. The propaganda push, which has escalated in recent weeks, aims primarily to deflect blame over the Chinese regime's botched handling of the Wuhan coronavirus, to sow discord internationally, and to portray the image that the regime has contained the outbreak. Evidently, the CCP violated the international health regulations. 
the United States and the international community must regain their senses and take action. 